Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Back in my element, got my normal setup going here with the 16 to 35 on the A7 IV. Got my settings back to where they need to be. I got all messed up yesterday being out there trying to shoot photos and video with this camera on that 70 to 200. So when I shot my portion in the studio for the end of vi the video yesterday, everything was all wonky because I had it at F22 which I had to put it on because it was so bright out and I didn't have an ND filter. So sorry for the shitty video yesterday, especially at the end there where it was all messed up. But okay, enough about that. Uh, I guess the Anton Bauer kit has been delivered. So I'm on my way to go pick that up right now. Like I mentioned, I forgot or wasn't even aware that today was an official holiday for my company and I scheduled all kinds of calls. I had calls on top of calls. I mean, people were calling me while I was on calls and it was crazy. So I had literally been on the phone since like 8.30 this morning. First things first though, I'm gonna get this Anton Bauer kit, get home and get that battery charged. I'm at Great Neck Park where I always test all my shit. I'm going to throw it on my Mantis Pod contraption here and I'm gonna walk around with it. I'm gonna see how brutally uncomfortable it is and, and see if it's just like, all right, that's just not happening. I, I just cannot walk around like that. This will be a, I'll take it out, you know, if I'm gonna be going out for a day and have it in here so I can plug into it, but I'm not gonna keep this permanently mounted because this is insane. We'll see. All right, so I can tell you for sure that this battery is getting sucked down fast. It It is jumped now, and, and that's the thing that concerns me. It, it was at six something, then it jumped up to over seven, then it went down to 634, now it's at seven and there it just jumped to 656 it's all over the place it is going everywhere telling me how much time is remaining and that in itself is kind of concerning you know you're supposed to get like 12 hours or 20 hours or whatever the hell it is that remains to be seen this is heavy it's reminiscent of when i had the a7c and the 24 to 70 the sigma 24 to 70 and i was walking around with it on my setup and I thought to myself, there's no way that I could continue to do this all the time. This is really crazy. I don't have it like extended out because there's no way in hell that I'm strong enough to do that. Besides you watch me with my melon filling the screen yesterday because I had the 70 to 200 on the camera and the, and the forerunner. So I think that this is doable for you. The five minutes that I've been walking around and shooting this, it's, it's great. It has its advantages obviously and its disadvantages. Advantage? A lot more battery life. The ability to use either the DTAP dummy battery or a USB-C cable. All right, that's it. I just wanted to, number one, I wanted to get outside and enjoy this day for a, a brief amount of time as I could. And I also wanted to have this thing charged up and I wanted to see just how brutally heavy it is when I'm out walking around. And it is brutally heavy. The one way that I can shave a ton of weight would be to not use this Manfrotto system. Now the reason I used the Manfrotto system is because it's got the long plate and it allows the battery to stand up and not tip over and all that kind of stuff, but at the cost of a lot of weight because I gotta put the plate on here, plus I've gotta put the Manfrotto uh, device, the, you know, the, the quick release device on everything. And that includes the one that I have in the Forerunner, the one I have on the tripod, this one, plus I have a similar setup for the mount in the studio at home. So I could either continue to use it this way or I could decide, screw this, it's way the hell too heavy and it's not worth the fact that I just don't want it to tip over. Okay, a quick addendum. I already ended my video and talked about all this and the setup and this and the other thing and the weight and da 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 but I ended up not liking how heavy it was. So what I did was I switched away from those Manfrotto quick release mechanisms and mounts like with the plate and everything and went back to the like the Peak Design Arca type little square things including the PGY Tech. Now the PGY Tech plate is underneath the Titan battery. That's where that's going to stay. As far as everything else, I switched all the tripods back to just being the archetype. Uh, that weight was just too much, just way too much weight. And I knew that I was not going to be comfortable with that. So now it's all back to this, again, this like peak design archetype plate, the little square plate. Everything is put back together in a more beneficial way to the flow. That's good enough for me. So at this point now, 
The other thing that I did was I took the dummy battery and popped that up into the A7 IV and had that running over to the one D-tap that is turned in such a way that the cable goes up instead of down, making it lopsided. Doesn't make a difference though, because now that I've taken away that long plate for the Manfrotto stuff, it tips forward anyway. So I gotta be mindful of that so I don't break my front lens or the any of the filters that I've got on here. I just have to be mindful of it and, and I'll be fine with that, knock on wood. It shows me six hours and 50 minutes of battery life on the Titan and I'm at 99% on the battery. And that's after uh, using the USB-C cable that was plugged in there. And again, the reason that I didn't like that USB-C setup is because it stuck out and blocked the screen, which seems kind of pointless for me of having a screen. And I'm not going to hook up an external monitor to this because I'm trying to keep the weight down. So bottom line is I've got it all set up, I think, the way that is going to be best for me. And it got rid of a lot of weight with that Manfrotto quick release system. It's great very secure but just too damn heavy for for what i do for the run and gun type shit and i'm not gonna again i'm not gonna be pulling plates and and breaking this thing down and building it up every time i want to do something it just doesn't work that way so i'll end the video again even though i already ended it once by saying that's all i've got for you today if you have any comments questions or suggestions leave them down below as always thanks for joining me be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids forward and up